Hey guys, welcome to the exciting tutorial of creating process and in today's video we will be designing this logo and if you look at this logo the overall composition is made up of square and that square is being divided into 9 more smaller square pieces and that each piece is made up of a one fourth portion of a circle. So we will design this logo in 3 steps. First we will create this square. Secondly we will divide that square into 9 smaller square pieces and lastly we will add those smaller portion of a circle over it. So. To begin with our tutorial, we'll use the rectangle tool and draw a nice square with shift and alt press with the mouse click drag and you'll see that you can create a nice square. Now once you have made this square, fill it with some fill color and remove the stroke for a while. We don't need that. Now the next thing is to divide this square into 9 smaller square pieces that should be equal so to do that we'll go to select the object go to object path and split into grid and in this you got a split into grid palette where you have rows and columns so in rows put the value 3 and column 3 and click ok now you see that that big square is being divided into nine smaller pieces now the next thing is to select the ellipse tool and from this point draw a circle in such a way that the edge of the circle is coinciding with the edge of the square. Now from here, this point, draw out one more circle. In such a way it also coincides with the edge of the square. Now select everything, go to pathfinder and just divide it. And this step will divide each piece separate. Now first ungroup this once and just rotate it to an angle so that we can get the shape with the shift press you can rotate to 45 degree angles once you have done that we can fill this with certain gradient color like this so that we can not the stroke color the fill color now once you have filled the color you can easily identify which pieces are separate now we will you can see that here we got an empty space so we'll delete that pieces just select and delete and now our main stuff main stuff is here you can see we have got nice circle here portion of a circle here 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 so we'll just do the adjustment for here it's okay because it should go like this and like this so it's already there this one is opposite so we need to do that so just select it and just rotate it with the shift pressed just rotate and you will get this angle in the same way select this piece and just rotate it to the opposite angle so with the rotation shift pressed rotate it now you'll see that this portion this portion is now in the correct position now this one is also correct this one is we need to adjust that so just rotate it in the same way with the shift press and with the mouse click you can rotate that now next step will go further we need to add these details here and here so we'll see that if we copy this here and copy this here it will fill that space so we'll do that so just select these before that we'll delete this out because we don't need that now just select this select both and just with the alt pressed with the mouse click you can drag and copy it duplicate that so just place it there in the same way it's delete this out let's drag this and place it there just duplicating it well, you can zoom it in to see whether it's correctly placed or not now and after that you can just rotate this to an angle so we'll just with the shift press just rotate it and you get a nice same feature now after that we what we need to do here is we need to add these details and to add that for this way we can use uh, this portion we can just can duplicate this and place it there so we'll do that so just select it with the alt press duplicate it and just place it there just place it in the same way we'll just duplicate this and just with the alt press duplicate it and place it here in the same way we'll duplicate this piece and just place it here so if we look at our design I think we have completed almost all the pieces. We have placed all the pieces. We have created those small uh, portion of the circle and added it to the perfect places where we need that. Now the last thing is to add the gradient color. And this is very important. 
because the color brings the sense to your logo so if we look here at the above i have already prepared the pa color palette that's yellow pink and those are in grading color because i need the grading color for this logo so i have already created it and in the above you can see a text this is the font i'm using for this logo so you can use this logo for your to design your own now to fill it with the color just with the selection tool that is v select the object with the eye picker tool just pick the color S selection eye picker selection eye picker selection eye picker you can select this with the eye picker select select this eye picker select this eye picker select these pieces also eye picker select this one eye picker and this one this this with this this with this for selection i'm using v and for eye picking i'm using the shortcut i so with the eye picker you can just pick the colors uh, you can see that we don't need that piece here so we can delete this small piece from here this one with the selection tool eye picker fill the color so just keep on and this one we can delete that we don't need that because it's white this one with the selection tool with the eye picker just select the color here we got the orange this one orange this one this green this one green or maybe this that's the same now when you have got that we can look at whether we have left anything else once you've done the now next the next thing is to adjust with the grading tool so select with the selection tool we can select the object and with the g that's for gradient we can just adjust the gradient tool so we need here darker and here lighter so just play with the gradient color and you get a nice sense with the selection select the object with the gradient g just move the gradient flow selected with the gradient tool just move so it's become very clean and with the, when you have adjusted the gradient color it brings up some nice effect to the logo and when you do it randomly it's not um, in the flow when you do it individually when you adjust all the gradient color individually the flow in the logo comes out and it look very attractive so we can do that now just select it with the V and with the G just move the gradient colors okay this one with the gradient color just check out where is the darkest we need dark here so just keep that in mind just keep that this one we need here darker so we can do that like this select we need darker here so in the opposite direction we need darker here this side so we can do that just move the green colors or maybe this side fine now this color we need some darker here so we can do that like this select this lighter here darker that side in the same way lighter here darker that side this one lighter here darker that side just, just move the gradient colors now we are left with the green color so we'll do that with the gradient color just check out yeah that's right this one with this stone fine now once we have completed with filling up all the gradient color and have adjusted all the gradient flow the last thing we are left with is adding the text and we'll be using this text so we'll select the T type out tropical you can see that if you are if you forgot to uh, make that capital you can directly go to the character and just click this option and it will automatically turn it into capital form now you can see the text the font which they are showing is different we need this text so we can apply that just go in there with the text control that sorry with the text copy it control C now just paste it there by selecting this Control V enter so our text is this tropical and the text name is event guard MDITC bold now the last thing we need to do is adjustment so just scale this up a little or we can just scale it down this size so that we can fit our text now once you've done that we'll bring this to a type of uh, text increase the size 
and after that we'll go to the character and we can determine how much space you want within the alphabet so just put around 1000 maybe check out that let's check out it's too less so we can increase that around 1500 let's check out and if yeah this is cool now we can place it there ensure that it's uh, on the correct perfect position because if you place it somewhere there or here it will uh, dec decrease the beauty of the logo so let's add the color now if we check out here the color we can copy the color by using this also here's the color code we can just copy that and after this select this go to the color palette and just paste it here so and click ok so you got the exact color which we are looking for now if you see we have finished the text we have finished our logo so this is how we can create these kinds of logo this was quite different from earlier logos too hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next video coming up and if you want more updates on designing you can press the subscribe button thank you